All right, y'all, so we just parked. We're about to head into New News, Youngsville. Um, New News is known, guys. They, they typically do a lot of barrel picks. They have a great selection here. And what's really crazy is this is a legit grocery store, okay? You can buy chicken, sausage, Cajun food, okay? Like really good stuff that us Cajuns cook with. So not only is it a grocery store, but to the left of the store, I mean, they have a fantastic bourbon selection. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get that on film for you guys. They have some awesome store picks in right now. Um, so we'll see you there. All right, y'all. So we're at New News here in Youngsville, Louisiana, and definitely have the most barrel bourbons out of all of them that I've definitely seen. Um, filming like this just because I want to get out of the shopper's way. It's right near checkout. And if you come here, so this K. Luke stuff, what I heard is there's a store owner that has a ton of store picks, I think the most in the U.S., and he started doing his own bourbon. Um, I'd still like to try it before I buy a bottle, but I definitely know that they have a ton of it here. So good thing to know. If I do get to try it, I can always come back here and get some. Same thing as the barrel. They have a ton of these old elks. They even have the cigar cut, guys, which I've personally never seen the cigar cut in a store and that many, let alone, and I'm sure they have a box of it. Let's see, they have that, the rum cast, four green, the wheat and rye, a double wheat, cognac finish, all the way to their sour mash, and then their regular bourbons down here. Lots of whistle pigs as well. Blue Runs, again, I've still never tried it. I want to know how it is. It's uh, kind of a hefty price tag, but I think the bottle's definitely really nice looking. And I don't know. I've heard mixed reviews, but I want to know what it's like before I buy it. Jefferson's Tropics, again. We've seen a couple of places that have it, but uh, oh, they only have two left. And then I want to showcase this, guys. So I know there's a lot of talk about Jefferson's Ocean. However, this store has a store pick of it, which we're going to show in a little bit. What I thought was really interesting, though, the store pick that they have is actually a cash drink edition of it. Got your Ben Holiday, of course. New Lou's. They have the toasted and the straight bourbon of the New Lou's. Some Chattanooga's and some chicken cock. All right, so moving on, this entire shelf is full of bourbons and whiskey. So one thing I want to talk about that the store owner pointed out to me is this RD1. So those of you that are looking for Widow Jane Decadence, which I know a lot of people are, including myself, this is also another one that's finished in an oak and maple barrel. Um, and I've heard a couple things about the RD1 brand. I'm pretty sure it's fairly new into the bourbon game, but they have this one and the French oak on the shelf right here at a pretty great price as well. And then right next to it, they have a bunch of the Sagamore spirits, which we talk about. Sagamore rye is a big talk in the rye community right now. Someone recommended that if they have the eight year, I need to grab it. And this is something that I can't wait to get back to Colorado and buy because I know a store that has the eight year, but the bottle is pretty fantastic too. If you look at them, like it's a pretty cool shape, great labels on it. And it's some great prices for a rye whiskey, in my opinion. Thank you, sir. I think, and then, I am still waiting to find a Peerless Double Oak because I'm a big fan of Peerless. And if you don't know about Peerless, it's one of the companies that shut down a while back, but then they reopened and the Peerless Double Oak comes recommended by plenty of people. And then coming down, of course, regular JT Mellick. Honestly, this is not a whole lot of stores have the regular JT Mellick lineup, but the cool thing about JT Mellick, they're not completely age stated. However, it says barrel age four years. Oh, this one might be age stated, but I know some of their picks say at least four years, so some of them are older. But it comes in at 96 proof, so almost 100 proof. You get some proof, and this is 100% rice whiskey. If you haven't checked out the JT Mellick video, you need to go watch it. See how they make this whiskey, the property that it comes from. Uh, that was a fun video to film. But they have the standard here for $44.99. And then coming right to the side down here, you have a lot of the Redwood Empire. This is also one of the first stores I've seen that has multiple selections of it. But this personally is my favorite one out of the whole lineup. It's going to be the Pipe Dream. Um, and one of my previous videos, I showcased that only one store I've ever seen has the Cash Dream. But if you can't find the Cash Dream, the regular Pipe Dream is a great daily sipper if you like a sweeter bourbon. I think they're also located out of Cal yeah, California too. So. Again, they have it here, $33.99. That's why I think you can't beat it because the price point 
at 33 bucks is it's phenomenal and if you find a store that has it which it seems like they get it in pretty often come grab it and try it for yourself for sure but like i said they have all three of them and then down here they have a rare stash as well let's see what bottle this is what batch this is batch number three so they have rare stash batch three it looks like they only have a couple bottles left but pretty cool to know that they get it in here as well Also, have any of you ever heard or tried this Kentucky bourbon, or yeah, they have rye and bourbons called Pinhook. The bottles are beautiful and they have a lot of wax stops. Have you ever seen any of this stuff? Is it any good? Um, and they have a ton of it here too, so. Which one of these are your favorites? I need to know. Of course you have your Mictors as well. This, I thought this was pretty neat too. Um, I know it's standard Baker's Mark, however, um, I've never seen the bottle, this bottle before. I think it's the Christmas edition, let's see, limited edition bottle. So nothing different in the juice, the whiskey itself. However, it's pretty cool to have this bottle um, compared to the regular Baker's Mark. That, yeah, this one's definitely better looking, I'll tell you that. So that's pretty cool that they have that here. And then look, um, our our very first bourbon hunt that we did in Colorado, we tried this Middle West Spirits whiskey. Um, and they don't have the exact one that we tried. However, we did try the weeded, and I'm telling you, that was probably the best weeded I've ever had um, at the price point that it is. They had two of these here. And again, if you like Weller 107 Old Weller Antique, this stuff is not, it's not gonna taste the same, okay? It's not as sweet. It's gonna be a little different. However, this maker's more cash strength. I can't recommend enough, guys. And most of the stores that you shop at probably have these. And I'm looking, I'm, no slam dunks, but a lot of times you'll find these bottles the most. Um, whenever they're dipping the wax, they'll dip it all the way down so you can get like a big wax bottle. But go ahead and pick yourself up a maker's cash strength if you haven't found this yet. I love this. Every time I run out, I go ahead and buy a bottle for sure. So I just wanted to showcase to you some of the store picks they have. It's around a bunch of shoppers, so I don't want to get them in the camera, but they have a maker's private selection. They have an Old Scout private selection. This is what I was talking about, guys. They have their Jefferson's Ocean, but I've never seen a cash rate before, and it's a store right. pick. It's a little over 100 bucks, so they have it here. Let me know if y'all have tried this. Any guys from Lafayette, if you tried this, I need to know how it was. Clyde Mays, a Whistle Pig 10. They even have the barrel cash strength store pick too, which we've seen the cash strength a lot of places, but not a store pick yet. So I thought that was pretty neat. And I think yesterday or the day before they got in their Angels Envy store pick, 110 proof, 85 bucks, a bullet. They even have an Oak and Eden pick as well. Plenty of picks here on the shelf, guys. And look, we did an event here with JT Mellick not that long ago where we filmed on their property, but they still have some of the JT Mellick store pick. I got to taste this. I even picked up a couple bottles myself. It is phenomenal. Rice whiskey. So if you like bourbon, I'm telling you, you guys are going to like this stuff. Super sweet, super unique. So they have a ton of Penelope's here. Like, I mean, a ton. And then this is pretty unique too. I think this is a special release of the Penelope. The Valencia, I know it's not a typical like all around release that they release all year. So pretty unique that they have that here. And this is one that I've never seen a Penelope, but it's a rose cast finish. It actually, I was gonna expect that it looks a little lighter in color, but it looks really nice. And it comes in at 94 proof. So not too bad. I didn't get to see what proof point this comes at 95. So. Here's the price tags if you want it. It looks like they only have a case of each, so. Got quite a bit of four gates. Something I've never tried. Don't know if I'll ever pay that price for four gate, but I don't even know if that is a good price. But they have quite a few of them here. And like I said, they have a ton of Bardstown. This personally is my favorite, that rye. Some Jefferson Sweet and Cove. The dovetail, that is a big price for barrel. All right, y'all, so like I said, they had some pretty amazing selections in there, some great 
store picks. Um, my number one recommendation, again, it's just because I tried it, that JT Mellick pick that they have is phenomenal. I'm really curious to see about that Jefferson's Ocean, though, because I've never seen one in a barrel proof, um, and I know it gets a lot of heat, but the fact that there's a store pick means somebody liked it to pick it. So uh, thank you so much for watching the channel. Look, we grabbed this Penelope Valencia today. It's not for me, it's for the for the cameraman, mm -hmm. uh, just because my suitcase is pretty full, so I wasn't able to grab anything, but um, we're super pumped. We're gonna go home now and crack this bottle open. Might get it on camera for you. All right, so we got the fresh crack, fresh pour of the Penelope uh, Valencia. So I've never had this, like I said, it smells really good, like really sweet. Whoa, dude, oh my God, that is so good. For it being only 95 proof, like the, it just lingers with straight vanilla on the flavor. This is really, really good. I highly recommend. Again, I know it's probably gonna be kind of hard to find, but I might, ugh, it's tempting to have to go back and buy a bottle myself. I don't have any room. Before I go though, please hit the subscribe button, turn on your notifications. So anytime that a video is posted, you're notified and the subscribe is basically just a follow for following the channel. So uh, it really helps me out and I appreciate you guys for watching Whiskier. We'll see you next time.